Welcome to this week's video tidbit, where we are going to be discussing Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month. So, to start off, in 1978, President Jimmy Carter signed a resolution designating the um, May 4th and the seven days thereafter as Asian Pacific Heritage Week. May was chosen to commemorate the immigration of the first Japanese to the United States on May 7, 1843, and to mark the anniversary of the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad on May 10, 1869. Most of the workers who laid the tracks for these railroads were Chinese immigrants. In 1992, the official designation of May as Asian Pacific Her American Heritage Month was signed into law. The term Asian American was coined in 1968 by student activists at the University of California, Berkeley, to recognize the shared challenges and experiences of Asians in America. Now, there's an awesome museum right here on 719 South King Street in Seattle. A bunch of great restaurants nearby. This museum is a wonderful experience with hidden awesome artifacts and um, modern art. Uh, you can either visit in person or they even have a virtual tour that you can do. It's amazing. I strongly recommend it. Now there's going to be some activities here that we're going to discuss. One of them is making lei. So lei, which are garlands, are made and given for occasions like marriages, birthdays, and luau's. Usually comprised of colorful flowers and greenery that are braided, twisted, wrapped, or strung together to create a lei for the neck, head, wrists, and ankles. You can use construction paper, tissue paper, twine, whatever you have handy to make your own lei. Then you can host a luau and wear them or give them to friends. Now there's going to be lots of cooking activities that you can do because everybody has heard of some Asian American or Asian Pacific uh, dishes that we could try. Um, there are many that are going to comprise of different fishes and rices because those are very commonly found in the Asian Pacific region due to their proximity to water. So there's even some um, great videos that children and adults can watch together on YouTube. We've got some examples of what you can search for here. Drawn to dot 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 food, Asian American Pacific Islander Heritage Month, or dumplings around Asia, or cooking with kids, making sushi. Additionally, we have some great recipes here for a Japanese fried rice, as well as a Mandarin fried rice. And the best thing about fried rice dishes is that they are a one pot and done recipe. So it is great for cleanup and lots of activity pieces in there that children can help with. And there's different ideas that you could do in terms of social studies, especially with older children, looking at the map of where some of these countries are located. They might be really interested to learn there's actually over three dozen countries that make up this region. Uh, you can um, have them pull some names that have the different, um, or sorry, pull some papers with some different names of the these countries and the children can talk about languages, where they're at, things like that, to try to get a little bit more information um, when talking about these different regions and what makes them all different and similar. Lots of books available, are STEM, The First Conversation About Race, Dim Sum for Everyone, Ling and Ting, not exactly the same, and then some read aloud options. Just search um, on YouTube, Asian Pacific American Heritage Kids Books Read Aloud, and there will be tons of options there. You could also look inward, look in your program, and find if you have any um, you know, employees, volunteers, or family or friends uh, of the children that you serve that might speak languages that are spoken in some of the um, Asian and Pacific Islander countries um, and regions. And then they can maybe share what they know with the children in your program and give a little show and tell. So this is just some of the many different resources that we have available. There's also going to be a link to a printable version of this information, and there is um, going to be some links to the re um, recipes and the museum and some of the books. And I hope that you have learned some things about Asian American and Pacific Islander Heritage Month that you can then bring back to your program and share with your children and families. Have a great week. Bye-bye.